In a small town, frustration had transformed into a fierce resolve. The election had been rigged, and despite countless attempts at diplomacy, nothing had changed. The same leaders who had once promised integrity now laughed behind closed doors, while the citizens felt their power eroding. At the local bar, a gathering of determined faces filled the dimly lit space. Frank, a veteran with fire in his eyes, slammed his fist on the table. We've tried everything, petitions, protests, and pleas for accountability. They mock us while we sit here playing nice. It's time we stop asking and start taking back what's ours. Sarah, her voice steady with anger, leaned forward. The Founding Fathers didn't just voice their grievances, they took up arms against tyranny. They fought and bled for their freedom, and we're at that same crossroads. Are we ready to fight for what we believe in? Murmurs of agreement rippled through the crowd. We can't keep waiting for change to happen, Tom shouted, his fists clenched. We need to organize and prepare for a real revolution. No more peaceful protests, if they won't listen, we need to show them we won't back down, even if it means risking everything. Plans began to take shape that night, not for gatherings or rallies, but for direct action. They spoke in hushed tones about forming militias, gathering arms, and creating a strategy that would send a clear message, the time for talk was over. When the day of reckoning arrived, the town square was a sea of resolute faces. Frank stood before the crowd, a sense of purpose radiating from him. Today, we take a stand. We are not just here to demand change, we are here to reclaim our rights. If they want to treat us like subjects, they will learn we are not afraid to fight. The crowd erupted, chants of defiance echoing through the streets. They were ready to confront the oppression that had suffocated their voices for too long. It was no longer about shouting names, it was about standing up and risking everything for their freedom. As they marched toward the heart of the government's power, determination surged within them. They were ready to face whatever lay ahead, knowing that true change would come at a cost. They were prepared to fight, to sacrifice, and to rise up against the tyranny that had betrayed their trust. In that moment, they became more than just a group of angry citizens, they were a revolutionary force, united in purpose, willing to go to battle for their freedom. This was not just a protest, it was the beginning of a movement, echoing the spirit of those who had fought for liberty before them. They were ready to make history, one way or another. Fight! 